What's going on everyone? I've had a few subscribers share this with me now and I figured I would make a video on it to show the rest of you what is going on here. So basically there's a new movie that's coming out. Its name is Tenet. And in the trailer for the movie, they destroy a pretty rare Saab. And that rare Saab is a new generation 9.5. So I figured I would show you guys the part of the trailer where the car gets destroyed. We can all cry about it a little bit. And then we can talk about some more details about why it maybe got chosen to get destroyed and some more details about how there was actually more than one 9.5 that they used and destroyed. So let's go ahead, I'll play the trailer for you guys now. It's around a minute 30. Here we go. There's our 9.5 and there it goes. And there it is in reverse just for a little extra stab in the heart. Clearly, uh, clearly it's destroyed, and that's very unfortunate because, you know, as you all know, the NG95 is an incredibly rare car, and they just decided to flip it for a movie, just, you know, for effect. And it almost looks like it's fake, but unfortunately it's not fake, and it's real. But I guess I'm curious to know how much this car is actually going to be in the movie. Is this a car that's literally going to be in the movie for five seconds and just get destroyed? Or is this like one of the main characters' cars and they drive it around and then it eventually gets destroyed? So I guess when the movie comes out, we'll know. But I guess it's it's cool to see a It's always cool, you know? I'm sure that you've been watching movies before and you see a sob in it and you're like, hey, there's a sob. But it's not cool when that sob is rare and it gets flipped just for effect. So that kind of sucks. But I think, you know, really the big reason why uh, this production company would choose a car like the NG95 is one, it looks like a very nice car, and two, it's relatively cheap for one, what it looks like, and, you know, just for a nice car for a movie. I mean, if we go back to the trailer here, you can see that all the other cars involved in this scene are very nice. There's a BMW 5 Series, there's an Audi Q7, so they're, they're very nice cars that it's around so I guess they're just trying to go with that and you notice how the Audi doesn't get wrecked or at least in this scene and the BMW does but the Saab that probably cost them a fraction of what those two did got wrecked so that's my thinking as to why the NG95 was probably chosen was because it looks very nice and expensive when in reality it is not a very expensive car especially to just wreck. So I happened to find an article on Saab Planet about this and there's a few behind the scenes pictures I wanted to show you guys that are pretty cool. So credit to Saab Planet for this. Looks like they're just doing some basic work on it here, just prepping it. Oh, is this an actual video of it happening? Oh, this is about to be big sad. There's another video of it happening. Okay, here we go. in anticipation. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was disappointing. Uh, I guess just another shot of it there. It's got the hood popped. See, here's what I was talking about. There's two of them right here. And this guy's just, just kind of walking over it with his big belly. Uh, yeah, that's not a good shot right there. There's the aftermath, of course. And to wrap it all up, there it is, upside down on a tow truck. So, very disappointing. Uh, you know, if they're going to use a Saab, maybe at least use, like, something that's a little bit more common next time. Like, a, just a run-of-the-mill base model, new generation 9.3. I don't know, you know, we'd still all be happy to see that, but... Uh, from from you know, there's there's two NG nine fives here, so I don't know if they crashed this second one too. One of them I see has an arrow bumper, but this one doesn't have any badging on it. And it doesn't have the arrow rear bumper, but this is the arrow front bumper. So if one of them's an arrow, this one also has roof rack. So I'm not really sure. So I don't think that they would have crashed both of them. I assume you know they crashed one and they saved the other. So who knows? Who knows though? I mean. This is just sucks to see. I figured I would share it with you guys though. See your thoughts on it. You know, maybe next time we can see them do it to a Volvo or I don't know. But for how my, for the speed at which that car rolled, let me just also point that out. The speed at which the car rolled and flipped, the fact that it, you know, I think it held up pretty well. You can see that this entire roof line here is pretty much completely intact. 
And then there's a nice shot of the underside of the car once again, I guess. But I don't know what wheels those are on there. They look like trash though, if I'm being completely honest. So I guess that's all I've got for you guys today. Just uh, disappointing to see this happen to such a rare and beautiful car. And this happens literally a day after I see a new generation 9.5 out just in the wild. And like that never happens in Phoenix here. So kind of sucks. But with that being said, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next time.